Hello, Internet. So, I have a story that I want to share with you all today, um, specifically with uh, Hank Green and those at SciShow. You all do some awesome, awesome stuff, and I love watching your channel, and I have, I know something that uh, you all might be interested in, and maybe we can find something awesome to do. So, a very long time ago, my grandfather on my mom's side, my mom's father, uh, we call him Papa. Um, and when he was working, he worked with the government during the Cold War. And no one knew what he did. He would carpool to work, he'd get home, he'd never say anything about what he was doing. He'd sit down, eat dinner, thank uh, Nana for the meal, and then he'd go and work in his workshop. Very silent, very reclusive. And it wasn't until he retired um, and the family was invited to his retirement party that they figured out why. Um, there were three star generals at his retirement party, and everyone kept calling him Black Cloud. And they found out the reason that he was called Black Cloud is because if any rocket launched from the United States, he had final say on whether it launched or not. Um, he took into account all the data of all the weather, not only for where it was launching, but also places it was supposed to be flying over. So for instance, if this rocket was oh, carrying spy technology to go spy on the USSR, uh, he looked at the weather patterns to whether they were going to have a clear shot as to where it would land so it could be recovered in good weather. He was the black cloud. He had the final say. A huge amount of power and responsibility in that. And not to mention top secret, which was why he never talked about it. And after the Cold War in the 90s, all his work got declassified so he could finally start talking about it. And it was very cool as a, as a little kid in elementary school and early middle school um, that my papa would come in and give talks to my classes about uh, this work that he would do with all these cool rockets and orbiting the planet and all this super awesome physics and awesome stuff. When I was in sixth grade, Papa came to speak to my science class about rockets and their orbits. My mother, at the time, was going back to school. Um, she was getting her bachelor's degree. And she, even though she grew up with this man, because he couldn't talk about it until she had grown up and moved out of the house, she really didn't know much about what he did. So she came to the talk because she wanted to hear what her father had done while she was growing up. And he talked about how the orbits worked and how they had to develop the rocket so that it could orbit over the USSR four times to get the four different kinds of shots. And he talked about the design of the rocket and how, you know, where it would store the, the spy um, cameras and how the rocket fuel would work how it would be able to be recovered once it landed. And my papa mentioned that he was working on the design of these rockets with some of his friends. And my mother was just flabbergasted. And she was talking with the teacher afterwards and was talking about how the people that papa is talking about, she is learning about in her history books. Oh my god! As a sixth grader, I thought, wow, that is really freaking cool! Although I'm in, only in sixth grade, so I didn't really fully comprehend what that meant. We're going to fast forward a bit now to this week. Um, earlier this week at my job, they sent out an employee spotlight form. And they really, really wanted to get interesting stories um, from people. So I mentioned some interesting things, like uh, my uncle Brian, uh, Brian Spear, is one of the top five bird doctors in the world. Um, he co-wrote Birds for Dummies. And I mentioned that I sang in Carnegie Hall and all these fun things. And then I thought, oh, I know Pavel worked with really big people. They were in history books. That's a really fun thing to note. I should write that on my form. And I remembered that obviously he talked about a, a specific name, a specific person he had worked with in that sixth grade talk. And I wanted to figure out who that was. Who was it that he had talked about that he had worked with? And so I emailed my mother, um, 
and say, hey, do you happen to remember who it was that Papa was talking about in sixth grade? And she responded, yeah, um, it was something like his friend Werner Brown or something. And, and I, I looked up Werner Brown, and I couldn't find anything until I decided to look up rocket science. And I realized that what my papa was saying as Werner Brown, and my mother was hearing as Werner Brown, was Werner von Braun. My papa worked with the father of rocket science, and was on a first he was on a first-name basis with the man. He called him Werner. Uh, I, when I realized that today, I, 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 I might have needed a new pair of pants. The, oh my god! Papa, Herb Spear, worked with Werner von Braun with rockets during the Cold War. This is amazing. And my papa, he, he still very clearly remembers working with this man um, and the things that they talked about. I, I personally wanted to share this story because it's absolutely amazing that I was that close, that my, that my grandfather worked with Werner von Braun I just watched, um, I've been watching SciShow, I watch it religiously, it's an awesome show and I love getting educated and learning more. And I love it when you do interviews with cool people. And I don't know if it'd be possible, but if SciShow could manage to do an interview with my, my grandfather who had worked personally with Werner von Braun, oh my god, that would be awesome. Not just. You know, oh my god, my grandfather's on the side show. But because he would ha he, he worked with the man in person on rockets. <laughs> that there's a there's knowledge there that would be so awesome to share. And the fact that it was this top secret spy program over Russia and that he was Black Cloud, it it just seems like there's so much awesome information we could share. Um I really, really hope that I get a response. Uh, I'd love it. <laughs> if it was from Hank Green, I, I might just explode. But I, I really hope that I can get some response. I hope that um, that this can maybe become a thing. Uh, Papa and Nana, they live in a house that they own in the mountains on the west coast. He is, a, is an absolutely fabulous and honorable and humble man. And I, I, I really hope that maybe something can come of this. But even if nothing does, even if that doesn't happen, uh, I just wanted to share that with the world, that my grandfather worked on rockets with, with Werner von Braun. And that's amazing. <laughs>